time now for that segment of the show where John and I go under the hood, actually deep under the hood, with a closer look at some of the big stories in the auto world. And uh, for this week, the reviews are out for Cadillac's redesigned 2014 CTS, and they're mostly glowing. Looks like another strong new product for General Motors. Pricing, by the way, is also out, and boy, prepare to pony up significantly more than you would have for the 2013 model. John, some interesting developments here, and we'll, we'll touch on pricing in a moment, but first, the vehicles. You are a big Cadillac guy. Uh, what do you think of these new vehicles? Well, I own, the CTS has gone now. This is the third generation of it. When it came out in 2003, it was the first sort of rear-wheel drive car. Speaking of rear-wheel drive cars, the, <laughs> the, the Cadillac was really kind of aiming in the, at the Germans, and I would say the first one was pretty good. The second one was very good, and this new third one looks like it's great. It looks like it's no excuses. Um, it really is. You can line it right up next to a BMW 5 Series or a Mercedes E-Class, and you know it's competitive and might even have selling points and advantages over them. So it looks like you know after years of work and some big investments, GM is really getting to where they had targeted with Cadillac. This thing looks like a winner in many respects. Uh, you know, it, it's bigger than the outgoing car. It's more precisely matched to the size of the. Journey. German rivals, uh, you know, it's much improved in a lot of ways. It's longer, it's lower, it's lighter was the catchphrase at, at, at the introduction. And you want one. Uh, I'm sorry, what? And you want one. I want the CTSV. We haven't seen that next year. That's the super high performance version. But, uh, you know, that's when we have to get into the pricing discussion here because these are a lot more expensive than the outgoing models. Right. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the pricing. Uh, what are you seeing here, uh, what we might have to pay for these things? Well, you know, depending on trim, the new CTS is anywhere from 6000 to 16000 more than the outgoing model. And, and as I said, we haven't even seen, much less heard about pricing on the top-of-the-line CTS-V yet. Uh, the hot package right now is the 420-horsepower V-Sport. This is a new... Cadillac line that slots below their sort of all-conquering V-Series. The V-Series are extreme high-performance cars. These are sort of the sportiest versions of the mainstream car. But the new V-Sport version of the CTS is the hot package. Uh, the reviewers are all saying this is a real gem. It's a lot of fun to drive. But, you know, it'll cost you. It starts at $59.9, and it can go up over $70,000. Now, here's the key. That's right in line with its closest rival over at BMW, which would be the 550i. Uh, that starts at $63.9. Um, but for comparison, the outgoing CTS-V, which is a 556 horsepower supercar disguised as a four-door luxury sedan, uh, starts at a little over 64. So, you know, what will the new CTS-V cost? Well, let's put it this way. The BMW M5, which is their version of this, starts at 90. So, you know, that's a, that's a big jump up right there if, that's, if they actually go there. You know, I would expect them to, to drop the CTS-V starting price somewhere at least in the mid-80s, but we'll see when it comes out next year. But in any event, I, it, these are all big steps up in pricing. On the other hand, this is a much improved product, and they've brought their pricing close to what BMW and Mercedes and Audi are getting. Uh, they feel, you know, with this product, they're right in that market. They're offering that kind of value, that kind of quality. They should be able to command that kind of price. And and to which as I, as the analyst, say, well, let's see if they get it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we'll find out. <laughs> and if I can drop in a, an interesting point to me about Tesla's Model S and those who scoffed at that price saying it's an overpriced toy, but this is the market they're playing in. High-end consumers who crave that performance and crave the luxury, and the Model S is luxurious. Yeah, a Model S is actually probably at least a half size up from the CTS. There's another Cadillac coming in a couple of years, which will be the next size up. That will be the car that competes with like the Mercedes S Class and the BMW 7 Series. But those cars start, you know, in in the mid 60s or higher, and that's where the Model S starts. So yeah, they too are thinking in the same line. They're thinking in terms of sort of the German luxury standard bearers and and how they stack up against them. Of course, Tesla is more of a radical alternative but it is true that you know people were saying when when Tesla when the Model S first came out people were saying this car has no competitors and I made the argument over and over sure it does it competes with you know the Lexus that the people in this class currently drive that the, you know the BMW 5 series the BMW 7 series the Mercedes E-Class these kinds of cars as people think about will I buy this for my next car or something else it competes with the other cars in the price range and those are some exceptionally nice exceptionally well turned out cars and and you know Tesla has executed to a high standard there.